everyone. Welcome to the Golf DFS forecast presented by Line Star App. I am Trevor Anthony Pitzel. I will be your host, and I am super excited because this is our first golf video. Well, technically, we had an introduction video, but this is our first DFS content video, and I am so proud and honored to be here. And we want you to be a part of this awesome community as well as we go through the golf season and make some money. Come on. You got to be a part of it. We want you to be a part of it. Uh, the more the merrier. So things we ask you to do. We'd love it if you subscribe to this channel. Love this video. Well, you can like it too. Send us a comment. I would love to read some comments, see what you guys are thinking. And of course, you need to check out the Line Star app. Right now, you can actually get three free days on the Line Star mobile app. So make sure to check that out. And of course, I'm going to be taking you through a lot of this awesome content on the linestarapp.com website. So that's what I'm going to be utilizing right now. And we want you to get involved in that as well. So join this incredibly awesome community that is growing and growing. And welcome to this first DFS video. And just in time for the real open, the 3M open. But before we get there, we're going to go over last week. You know, last week was fun. I mean, a lot of people th thought the Open was boring, and granted, Brian Harmon just crushed everybody. But it was a fun week. Uh, I didn't do the greatest in DFS-wise, but overall, I had a great week because of props and pools, and we're going to talk about props a little bit later, but we're going to mainly focus on DFS for this week. But that's the thing. Is you just never know what's going to happen. You might have a bad DFS week and a great props week, or a horrible props week, great DFS week. We hope that it all aligns, and magically, we have a great week in both. That is definitely what we are going for. That's what we're going to strive for here on the Golf DFS forecast. But last week was great. You know, it was fun. Brian Harmon took on the hecklers and crushed. Now, my dreams were crushed by DJ Finau and Siwoo. Oh, boy. But you know what? I also mentioned in the very first introductory video that you have to have a short-term memory, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to forget about Finau, DJ, and Siwoo. And we're going to remember how great the linestarapp.com website was because look at this. I am on the live scoring from last week. Our newsletter focused on Harmon. Our leverage was all over Straka, Rom, Tom Kim was in there, Grio. So you got to get on this site and check it all out. And I'm going to walk you guys through part of that as we go through the tiers for this weekend's open. But so, okay, that was last week. We're going to forget about it. We are going to move on and uh, and rock and roll. So we're going to move on to Blaine, Minnesota for the 3M Open. Blaine, not to be confused with Blaine, Missouri of the epic comedy Waiting for Guffman. And yes, if you've ever seen it, Corky St. Clair, one of the greatest characters of all time. We will have a Corky St. Clair feature pick just for you. If that's not a great tease. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Corky St. Clair, pick for you guys for the 3M Open. But here we are. Blaine, Minnesota. It is the Twin Cities. TPC Twin Cities. That's where we're going. Uh, it's it's not a bad course. It's kind of a fun course. It's a relatively easy course. It's kind of like middle of the pack for the PGA. It's a ton of water. It's a par 71. It uh, It's 7,431 yards. It's been baked out. So it's going to... Roll fast. It's, greens are going to be pretty firm. And you just got to be very accurate off the tee. And you got to have great approaches. And you just have to truly avoid that huge number. So what am I looking for this week at DFS? I'm looking for solid drivers of the golf ball. I mean, yes, being long is always an advantage anywhere you go. But you need to be in good spots. So I'm just looking for good overall drivers. I'll even take short drivers if needed, I just want accuracy. I want a clear, nice second shot. So solid drivers of the golf ball, good long irons, ball strikers galore. I want guys who can putt very well inside of 10 feet because there's going to be a lot of birdies on this hole. And it's, it doesn't become a crazy birdie fest, I think, because of all the water. But you definitely need to score. And if you're going to win, well, every week you need to score. So that's why they brought me here for that expert uh, analysis right there. You need to score to win. So there you go. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. So, and bogey avoided. So those are the things that I'm looking for the most for this tournament. So let's move into 
DraftKings pricing. And see, I'm here on linestarapp.com, and we've got the salaries. So I'm going to go down the line. And here, I'm going to move this over. I'm going to move me over. That's kind of weird. I'm dizzy now. And we're going to go through all these tiers. But it's if you haven't looked at it yet, the pricing is bonkers. I mean, it is all over the place. And you're really going to be able to take advantage because the 7,000 tier, all those guys with this field, I mean, it's it's not the weakest field. It's a decent field. I mean, you got Decky, Cam Young, Sunjay, Finau. You got some big names, but it's not the strongest field. And you're getting guys like Eric Cole, who's just been playing lights out he's down he's like 7800 there are guys i mean somebody mentioned in the comment on line star that you could just uh play a full team of 7k players and i don't disagree i mean it would be a little nuts but you could do it and just speaking to that when you are on line star make sure to get in our chat as well i mean i want you to leave a comment for this youtube video but i also want you to leave some comments here as well and really get our community working together so that we can win some of this that's that is the whole point but anyway, okay, so crazy DraftKings pricing. Uh, one thing, and this could be a really t terrible narrative, but I'm a little nervous about playing any dudes that were somewhat in it. Nobody was really in the hunts last week because, uh, as we discussed, Brian Harmon smoked everybody. But if you played on Sunday, how are you feeling uh, this week? Because the weather was kind of awful on that Sunday. Uh, guys, I'm definitely not, I'm definitely not playing Cam Young. I mean, that is just not going to do it. That guy, it was hard watching that dude putt, man. It was agonizing. And that guy has got to be literally mentally checked out this week, I would imagine, because he, out of all these guys in this field, he actually had a shot. He could have made some moves, dropped some of those putts, and put a little pressure on Harmon, and then who knows? But nobody ever put pressure on Harmon, so the dude just coasted. So, But Cam Young had that opportunity, and he just never did it. So I would imagine he's got to be mentally checked out. And here's the thing. You can't play everybody in DFS, so you need reasons why not to play certain players. And that goes with Tony Finau. I'm not playing that dude. That dude is broken. And it's not because he crushed me last week. It's just because he hasn't been good. He won about two or three months ago, and has not been good. And I know he won here last year, and this is a great get-right spot for him, but uh, there's four guys in the 10K, and I'm going to take the other two. I'm going Sunjay, and I'm going to go Decky. Now, before we drop into the lower tiers, I just want to remind you guys, a big thing to worry about and think about is weather and also tee time strategies. I mean, you don't have to overdo it. You don't have to, like, die on the hill over weather and waves, but it is definitely something that you want to focus on and utilize to your advantage because there always is an advantage. Weather waves are a thing, whether we whether we want it to be or not. If you know that there's really cruddy weather, you don't want to play guys in that cruddy weather. But it's also weather, so you never know exactly what's going to happen. But it is something to be conscious of, and I will tell you this, in Minnesota... I haven't seen anything crazy this week. If anything, there's a little wind that picks up on Friday, late Friday, but it also might rain uh, Thursday night. So that PM AM stack could be the way to go. If there's any edge, that might be it, but it is Tuesday, so we got a lot to think about. Just keep an eye on the weather because this course has been baked out. So if there is any rain and those guys get to go out in that those soft conditions and then it bakes out again throughout the day because it gets really hot. I mean, I think it's going to get up to about 100 degrees on Thursday and Friday. So the afternoon guys are definitely going to have a little bit of a harder time. So take a look at that. PMAM right now is what I'd be featuring. But again, it's it's not a big factor. Tea time, and that goes with tea times as well. So just keep an eye on all that stuff. Because it is DFS, and if you're playing in these GPPs, any advantage is an advantage, whether it's 2%, 3%, 0.1%. You want that advantage to beat out the competition and make some money. So with that, let's move, let's continue down. So here on the Line Star app, you can see I've 
I've just sorted it by salary. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through there, but I'll also feature some other really cool aspects of the sites. One that I mentioned a little bit earlier was leverage. Now, this is just such a key component because as we're talking, you want an advantage. You want leverage in DFS. And so this is going to show you where these players stand with their pricing, with their ownership, and, and let you know who's got a little bit of leverage. And last week, lights are, we were on, we were on Rom and Straka big time. And so it's key to look at this. And once again, you got to figure out what uh, strategies you're going to take, but here are just some great things. So leverage is awesome. Uh, if you're playing cash, you can go safety and just make sure, you know, who's, who are some, some of the safest players, Sun JM. He's one of my favorite guys. Uh, and I don't play cash, but He's just out of the 10K. He's definitely my favorite. Decky's right there. He's amazing. Uh, just ball strikers and accurate drivers. And then you can go floor. These are, you know, what's their floor, Ludwig? You know, but floor is okay. That's just plain safe. You want ceiling guys. Ceiling guys are big time. So <laughs> ceiling guys, fee now. Well, you know how I feel about fee now. Definitely not going to go there. As you can see, I did not like him over here. So then you can go through the players and you can pick which ones you like. And then you can utilize our optimizer as well. So there is an optimizer. You can set that up to whatever parameters you want. But ceiling is always a good thing to look at. Ceiling and leverage, of course, for DFS. But play around with it. Come on in. Play around with it. Check it out. Here we go. We're going to go through our salaries. All right. We went through the 10K. You can see I've uh, I've liked these two. A couple other people have liked them. And then there's a little chatter in here as well. Let's see. This might have been me. Yep. I'm T90 Golf. So I said the man is broken to me. I need to see something first before he goes in another one of my DFS lineups. And that's so true. So what you can do, you can leave little comments and we can work together. Like there is a live chat. People Chat it up in here. Talking about 7K guys. I think, who was it? It was Monty, ba yeah. Monty Baby 25 brought up that you could make an awesome team in all 7Ks. I totally agree with Monty. So, as we go down, I want you to let me know if you agree with me. So, once again, leave a comment on this video. Also, leave a comment on the website. So, here we go. So, now the 9K goes from Grio all the way to Cam Davis. This is a very strange tier. Uh, Grio and Straka, I'm a little iffy about just because of last week, once again, is this kind of a letdown? And a lot of times people are like, well, there's no letdown in golf. Like, that's such a terrible narrative. But is it? I mean, we talk about letdowns in football, baseball, hockey, basketball. Why can't there be letdowns in golf? I mean, these guys were just overseas, they had a rugged weekend. Uh, Straka was kind of in the hunt, not really, but are they just a little wiped with the trip? I don't know. I mean, that's for you to decide. I'm probably not going to play him, but it's Tuesday. I got to figure that out. Aberg, really like him. He's probably one of my favorites. Justin Thomas, this guy's going to win or lose you the a DFS tourney, in my opinion, because this dude, talk about lost. This guy, <laughs> this guy I, what has happened to this guy? I don't know. It's crazy. JT, I will not be playing him. Maybe, maybe in one. So just to let you guys know, I typically play around, I don't know, three to eight lineups. That's what I do. I'm not 150 guy yet. I'd like to get there at some point. I think it would be kind of fascinating to do that. If I was playing 150 lineups, I'd have some JT. I don't think I'm going to do it this weekend. Woodland, Woodland's kind of sneaky, but, you know, I don't know. He, the dude just cannot putt. And if you see his finishing positions, he's never really up there. And for 9,000, you got to finish well in this tournament. So Jaeger, this is my favorite, I think, at the 9K. Jaeger Aberg, because Jaeger could easily be down the 7,000. That's the one thing. Is I, his price seems way too high, but that could also keep his ownership down. Let's see what – so speaking of, we do have – we have ownership. So projected ownership right over here. Actually, it's up here. Da, 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 this is what I'm looking for. So project ownership. And granted, just remind you that this is Tuesday afternoon as we are taping this. So right now, let's see. Jaeger bombs. Is Jaeger bombs? Well, we don't have them projected very high. So 
That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that, that 9100 price tag is a little outrageous for people to get their head around. Because look at this. Eric Cole, 7800 Eric Cole, Jaeger, I mean, who's the better golfer? That's a, a coin flip. And it's it's over that. I mean, that's crazy. $1,300 $1, difference between Eric Cole and Steven Yeager. Doesn't really make any sense. Nikolai Hogarden's been balling out. Uh, Austin Eck wrote, this guy was one of my favorites, but now I do think he's extremely highly owned. He was just nuking. And then, I don't know, the past three tournaments, he has just been awful. So has he found something? I think he's a good play. I'm a little worried, though, of this uh, ownership. That's going to scare me off as well. But you guys can come over here and play with this as well. And you can see, you can go through all of these guys. It's pretty freaking awesome. Find your favorite guys, see where they are. Aberg, look at that, a 6.4% Aberg. Sign me up. And then, because we're all about transparency, once the tournament actually starts, you can actually see the actual ownership. So that's pretty awesome to see how we did. And that's just like how I started the show. I told you, I didn't have the greatest week last week. I did. I'll be, I will always be honest with you. Well, I had a great week overall. I didn't have a great DFS week. But I think... What's more important than this overall, right? So I did have a great overall week. Okay. So going back to it, that's our 9K range. Then we dip down to the 8Ks. Not a lot of guys in here. I won't go through everybody, especially in the 7Ks, because I don't know how many guys are in the 7Ks. I didn't count. There's a ton. But in the 8K range, I really think Hadwin's kind of a sneaky guy. I'm not touching the Gala. That dude is TJT Finau. There's your lineup. That, that lineup is going to win every DFS GPP imaginable. I won't touch any of those guys. Those guys are not going to my lineups. Patrick Rogers, no. Poston's, he's actually, dude, he's been playing really well. I thought about playing him last week at the Open, got scared off, and hey, made the cut, had a decent little run. Hubbard's starting to play better. But at the bottom, my two favorite guys. Lucas Glover, this guy has been going off. He has found something with his putter. He is a ball striking machine. I will be playing a lot of Lucas Glover and Vincent Norman. Dude's got three top 25s in his last three tournaments, including a win. How do you not play this guy? So I'm all over him. And you can actually see right here, we've this is another really cool feature, value feature. So both of these guys that I really like, I mean, you can get 8% time here. I, that's awesome. I'll take it. I'm in. No Bo Hostler. All right, we go from 7K range. I'm going to fly through this. Uh, as I say that, I talk a lot, so probably won't fly, fly through it. But this range, I, I'm a little nervous about. Well, no, excuse me. I'm not nervous. At the top, I'm a little nervous about. But the range in general is awesome. Uh, Rye, I just don't play that guy. Maybe I should. I'm just not a fan. He always seems to burn me. And he's going to be uber chalk, so that will be my reason to stay off of him. Hogarth's been great. Cole, we've talked about. Look at that. Ten times his value. I mean, that's absurd. It's already got eight likes, so he's going to be very chalky as well. But once again, you can play chalk. Just don't play all chalk. Throw in a little chalk. If you really like Eric Cole, then you stay on Eric Cole. You just throw in some other guys who are not as chalky uh, so that you're not duped, duping like crazy. But there's a lot of pretty good names. Sa is interesting. I, You know, I'm just going to put a like by him. Just because this course correlates a little bit to the Honda Classic, and he was in the hunt to the Honda Classic. Also, I think that's why Eric Cole's ownership is so high, because he was right there. Probably should have won that thing and beat Kurt, but he did not. But still, he came in second. Sa, I believe, was a top five. Let's see. Any of these other guys? There's Ekrotes. Doug Gim is a guy I'm very high on right now. He's been playing really well. And to be priced this low is a little bit crazy. Like, if Doug Gim was 8,400 in this field, would you balk at it? I wouldn't. I mean, a lot of these guys could easily be up. I, I mean, and it's weird because the 8K and the 9K were really, there's not a lot of guys in either of those ranges. And then the 7K range, there's like five bajillion players in here. But some other guys that I do like, Shea Reve, I'm a big fan. I'm actually getting off a of woo. He's just been, he's been a dumpster fire. So I don't, I don't see his game's off. And I need guys down here who are going to crush it. And I, I'm not a believer. Ooh, but I'm going to throw a little like there on Lee Hodges. He's what I like. Palmer's interesting. 
if the dude can putt at all, he could be he could land a top ten for you. So he's a guy I like just because I think that he's got some serious upside. So I'm going to be looking at him. Kevin Yu, look at that, 10.2. Obviously, Line Star believes he's got huge upside. Here's the thing. The 7K range is so loaded. I don't really know if you have to dip into the 6K range. But then again, these 6K guys, so many of them could easily be 7K range guys. I mean, these guys, Dylan Wu, <laughs> Dylan Woos will be 7K for the rest of his life. I don't care if he wins a tournament. He's going to be 7K exactly. I still might not play him, though, because he hasn't been playing that great of late. Uh, I do like Chad Ramey. Uh, Lower's an interesting guy, but I don't. I haven't put a like by him. Carson Young, I think I rode that guy as long as I could. I think his run might be over, but still at 6,800, not bad. Malnati can always ball out. This is my big sleeper, is Dow. This guy, you will look at leaderboards, and he won't be very high on the leaderboard, but that dude scores. He is a scoring machine. So I will definitely be looking at him, but I'm really not going to go much further down the line. I think, oh, Bryce, I did have Bryce Garnett likes just because this guy's made every cut here. So strictly a course history reasoning for liking him. And when it comes to course history, I'm not a firm believer in it. I will, it's, that's usually kind of my like coin flip decision. I, I like to see how they did. Like if they're truly awful, I probably won't play them. Or if they're amazing, you know, I will play them. But if they're just kind of middle of the road, I just want to see how they've done. And he, this guy's made the cut every single time, and you're going to get him for 6,500 at this point. You just need him to score a little bit, but just get that six for six in there. So I think that's that's for this Tuesday. That is what I'm looking at. Those are my guys uh, that I'm looking at. But now I want to get into. So I'm a big uh, I'm a big fan of cocktails. So I've come up with some cocktail players that I like. And so we're gonna start with on the rocks. And this is a player that uh, I will not be playing. And that is Sahith Gala. No way. That dude is on the rocks right now. No way. He's going in any of my lineups. Some people drink their bourbon with cubes. Some people drink it neat. So my neat player, this is a good player who I think will have a solid tournament. It's not going to blow you away. Not going to kill you. Doug Gim, that is my neat player of the week. My top shelf player. Now, originally it was Sun J Yen. And I think he's definitely still a top shelf player. But I think his ownership is skyrocketing. So if I'm look, if I'm going to play the ownership game with my top shelf player, I'm going to go with Lucas Glover. So those, I, you get two. Two top shelvers, Sanjay and Lucas Glover, probably going to be in the same lineups. And then Allocated, that's your sleeper. And you know what? I missed him when we were going through the tiers, but Grayson Murray was just put in the field. Uh, who? Somebody withdrew. Luke List withdrew, so Grayson Murray. That guy has been crushing it. So I will be playing some Grayson Murray right now, especially he's been really good. And to get him, I think it's 6,700, and a lot of people... They're just going to forget about him because he just got put in the field and they're not going to think about it. So he is my allocated player of the week. And going back to Blaine, Minnesota, not Blaine, Missouri, of waiting for Guffman. But anytime I hear Blaine, I think of waiting for Guffman. I think of Corky St. Clair. So my Corky St. Clair player for this week, and that is a player who is a mirage. They are not the true star that you think they are. And that is Tony Finau. And I love the guy. I love him. That Netflix series, he was great. He's a good dude. Uh, he was my one-and-done pick when he won earlier this season. I love the guy, but he is off. And I'm not playing him until I see something from him. And maybe, hey, maybe that happens this week. But Tony Finau, you are the Koki St. Clair player for the 3M Open. All right, folks, that does it for me. I am so excited. First video. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Whether you did or not, leave a comment. Let me know. I want to know. What what did you like? What didn't you like? What can I do more of? What are you looking for in these videos? That's what I want to hear. So please like the video, comment in the video, subscribe to the old channel. Make sure to check out linestarapp.com. That's what I was utilizing during this entire video and way more tools than I utilized for you during this video. So make sure to check that out. And just a reminder, 
you have a three-day free trial on the LineStar mobile app. So check that out. It's Tuesday, perfect time. You get it today, Wednesday, and Thursday. So you get it in right before locks for the 3M Open. Also, keep an eye out for some props. I'll either do a props video over the weekend or even just on linesarapp.com in some of our chats. Maybe I'll throw out some props as well. So just keep an eye out for those. If you are in the props world, Make sure to check out Prize Picks and Underdog. If you haven't already signed up for those two awesome apps, make sure to use our promo code LINESTAR and you get a hundred up to $100 deposit match. So if you deposit $100, you get $100 for free. So folks, that's going to do it for me. Best of luck this weekend. The 3M Open. Blaine, Missouri. If you haven't watched Waiting for Guffman, go watch that. Tony Finau, Corky St. Clair. Till next time.